Hey everybody, it's uh, Tom here, coming at you with yet another video. Uh, today I've got kind of a um, a complaint video. I just got off the phone with uh, IKEA Hobbies, the uh, the customer service line at IKEA Hobbies, E K I A, you know Hobbies, and um, basically they ripped me off. I ordered a 1 6 scale Ninjak figure from Valiant Comics. Uh, yeah, I ordered the figure from them. And what they told me, the, the woman who I spoke to could barely speak English. She had a, a thick Asian accent. She told me that basically the, the, uh, the company that was going to make the figure didn't get enough orders. And so they're not going to manufacture the figure, the ninja figure. And I said, okay, that, that's fine. I know I want my money back. So, oh, we can't, we can't give you your money back. Why not? Because, because the button's no longer there. I'm like, what the fuck does that give me my money back? I ordered a figure. You didn't give me my figure. Give me my money back. And I argued with this woman for probably 10 minutes. And she kept saying, oh, it's not our fault. There's nothing we can do. It's been, she Basically, she said it's been too long. That, like, I waited too long for the figure to come out. And because of that, she couldn't give me a refund. Now, I was patiently waiting for this figure to, to come out. And obviously, I, apparently, I, I waited too long. So yeah, never never do business with IKEA hobbies because they'll possibly rip you off. Here's the thing. I, I've done business with them a, a couple of times. Um, I, I bought the Dirty Harry figure from them. And it, it showed up okay. I bought the uh, Dark Speedster figure, which you guys haven't seen yet because I haven't done a, an updated uh, room tour or uh, shelf tour. Um... It's a, it's a cool figure, and it, 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 sh it showed up okay, arrived all right, and, um, and the thing is, I've already got another order with them. I I ordered in November, the end of November, I ordered a, um, a Joker figure of the Joaquin Phoenix Joker, and uh, I already sent them a message, the IKEA, I already sent them a message saying I want a refund for that figure too, because I don't, I don't know if they're going to... My phone's ringing. Why is my phone ringing? Anyways. I wonder if that's them. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not answering. But yeah, they took my money, didn't provide a figure, and won't give me a refund. They said they would do store credit. I said, okay, well, give me store credit. And they said, oh, well, if you order a figure, just order the figure and explain to us that, I mean, she wouldn't give me an actual store credit to use in the store. She said I had to order it and basically explain to them when I ordered it that the order would be free. And I told her, oh, well, I don't trust you guys. I'm not ordering another figure. I'm not paying for another figure. And she, um, again, was just full of excuses and reasons why it wasn't their fault. Uh, she, said, she said it wasn't my fault, but it wasn't their fault either. And that, you know, they could only do store credit. Couldn't give me a refund. So, uh, IKEA Hobbies, fuck you. Thanks for stealing my money from me. Ooh, so angry. But yeah, I'm going to provide their link to this IKEA hobby store down below just in case to show you guys you know if you want guys want to see a website we can go and get scammed go to IKEA hobbies anyways that's the rant for today thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day